creating your first MVC app. We shall get introduced to the MVC framework with the creation of a beginning MVC app. This app shall display the message hello world on the screen. We shall become introduced to the various folders that are relevant to MVC and which are created in the Solution Explorer. We shall follow a step-by-step -step approach. So walk with me, let us see how to create our first MVC app. You should open your Visual Studio Express and this should be the starting screen that becomes available to you. So follow these steps file new project here you should have selected visual c sharp by default visual basic is selected you should select visual c sharp and then you should select web I repeat, don't do this. Do this. Then here you will find a number of options. You should select. So I am giving my MVC application. By default, it will be saved in your My Documents folder. There is subfolder Visual Studio 2012 and Projects. So this is the path where this project will be saved. Then we can click OK. And when you click OK, you will find a dialog box like this. You will find an empty template, you will find a basic template, internet application, intranet, web API, you may or may not find these others depending on the configuration. So what is an empty? An empty MVC app will create just a bare bones, very little startup code. You will do this at a later stage. This won't be done today. Then there is internet application. Internet application has a default authentication built into it. It will authenticate with forms authentication. Otherwise it is exactly same as basic. Similarly, intranet. Intranet will be exactly same as basic except that the authentication will be Windows authentication. So the difference is only of the authentication whereas in basic no authentication will be built into it. You are free to use your own authentication rules. Basic is not really very basic because it contains some code in it. That code is the fundamental code that is required, that is always required to be present in a startup MVC application. We will study each and everything in the basic application as we go. Web API. A web API application creates a suitable structure for a web access to through MVC. We shall cover it in the last part of our course. So today, since it's our first exercise, it's, it's our first day, we shall start with the basic MVC application. Okay, let us see and let us see the various structures inside it.